This tutorial demonstrates how to create a caption on a, an image in either Google Presentation or now it's called Google Slides or on just a regular document. All you have to do is once you've got your picture in here, let's say I want to add a caption on here. Um, my favorite method is just go to Insert and you click on your shapes and I just draw a nice little box of a rectangle here that'll give me this I type in shield volcano in Idaho and then you know go ahead and format it change the size shrink it down a little bit one of the neat things about this is also I want to add color to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fill this in. I'm going to create a custom color. And let's just say I want to make it a little bit darker in the surrounding. And I also kind of want to have it transparent. And so I'm going to click OK. And then you can easily just change the font color in here. Um, and then once you're done creating this, as you can see, as I move my picture away, that doesn't go with it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to group the two together. So we're going to select the caption text box, the object, and we're going to hold our shift key down and select the image itself. You're going to right click on it and you're going to say group. Now the cool thing about grouping is now that becomes a true caption where I can actually shrink and expand the picture and, and even move the picture and the caption goes with it, which is really a nice feature. Of course, I want to add a, another caption here, so let's just do that one more time. We're going to go another way to do it is just click on your shape icon here click shapes we're gonna add a rectangle tool and I'm gonna put it on the bottom this time I'm going to type in shield volcano in Hawaii and I'm gonna go ahead and select my fill tool up here and I'm going to select that same custom color I had before and we're going to go ahead and make this white so that it's easier to see. And you want to select the picture, select the shape box you just did, right click on it and say group. And again, those now become one object. Kind of cool.